Today on our 2013 Ford F-350 Crew Cab, we'll be installing the Stromberg Carlson 4000 Series 5th Wheel Louver Tailgate with lock. Part number VG-97-4000. Because this particular vehicle has a backup camera which is mounted in the tailgate, we'll need to unplug that. To unplug it, you'll just squeeze the tab, pull it apart, and in this particular case, as you can see here, there's an orange cap that'll go on top of the factory harness once we've unplugged the tailgate. To get the plug apart, we'll go ahead and squeeze the tab and gently pull apart. Now we're ready to go ahead and remove the tailgate. To do this, we'll use a small flathead screwdriver to lift the tab up and release the safety cable or the cable holding the tailgate. Once we have that done, we'll open the tailgate just a little bit and lift up on the passenger side. When we do that, it'll lift the tailgate off of its tab now we'll have to pull gently towards the passenger side to remove it from the post that is on the driver's side. You'll want to get an extra set of hands to help you lift the tailgate off to keep from scratching things. With the tailgate off, we can go ahead and set it aside. Now we're ready to go ahead and install our new Stromberg Carlson 4000 series louvered tailgate. To begin with, we'll need to put a few pieces into the tailgate. On the passenger side, you'll see here, there's a section of PVC pipe that will need to be pushed into the part that'll slide over the peg on the bed. After you push that part in, there's a rubber grommet that'll also need to be pushed in. Now for the passenger side, there's another section of PVC that'll need to go in, but this one has a groove that's been cut into it, and it will line up on the tab. Now with this done, now we're ready to go ahead and test fit the louvered tailgate onto our vehicle. We'll just put it on in reverse of what we took the factory off. First we'll go ahead and line up the rubber grommet with the driver's side peg. Once we have that lined up, we'll go ahead and push the tailgate on, and then at an angle, we'll slide it down over the slot, making sure that the PVC section that is slotted lines up with the tab that's on the passenger side of the bed. Now with that on, we can go ahead and put our cables on. We'll need to go ahead and take the loop of the cable that comes with the kit and slide it over the anchor point on the bed of the vehicle. You want to make sure that when these cables are folded in the upward position that they bend inward, so you may have to flip them around to make sure things line up properly. Once we have the top part of the cable looped around the anchor point, we can go ahead and use the bolt and secure it to the tailgate. We'll go ahead and repeat this process for both the driver and the passenger side. A quick tech tip, the cables are only intended to support the weight of the tailgate and small items such as coolers, small toolboxes, or light lumber. They are not intended to support the weight of a person. Now with both cables on, now we can go ahead and test fit it and see if it closes properly and latches. If it does not, you may need to make some minor adjustments to the latching mechanism to line everything up properly. Next we'll go ahead and test fit the two plastic covers that cover up the outside part of the tailgate, covering up the mechanism parts. Next we'll go ahead and install the four tabs that'll hold the machine screws that help hold the plastic side covers on the tailgate. We'll go ahead and slide both of the tabs, one on top and one on bottom, for each side. And we'll need to remove the tailgate. To do this, we'll slide off the top loop of the cable from the anchor point on the bed. Then we'll lift up on the passenger side with the tailgate slightly open and pull towards the passenger side. Now we can go ahead and set the tailgate down and finish mounting our plastic side covers. With these in place, we're going to go ahead and test fit the plastic cover on to see if we need to scoot it in or out. Now we will not be able to screw this cover on with the tailgate on the vehicle as you will not be able to get to the bottom screw. Now we'll go ahead and use the four machine screws that are supplied with the kit, two for each side, and we'll screw through the plastic top and the bottom into the new tabs that we just inserted on the tailgate. Now that we've got the top and bottom screw on each of the plastic side covers, now we're ready to use the two self-tapping screws for the center sections. These screws will go into the white sections that were glued to the back side of this plastic cover. You want to be careful when screwing these in so that you do not strip them out. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our tailgate back on. Again, we'll just slide it over the tab on the driver's side, and then at a slight angle, slide it over the tab on the passenger side. Once that's on, we'll go ahead and connect both of our safety cables again just by sliding them over the anchor point. So now we'll go ahead and open and close it to make sure everything's lined up and working properly. You can also see here that the tailgate is lockable with a key. And with that, that'll complete the installation of the Stromberg Carlson 4000 series fifth wheel louvered tailgate with lock, part number VG-97-4000 on our 2013 Ford F-350 crew cab.